Alrighty guys, welcome to Ranty and Chill. Uh, two things I like to do on this channel, drink beer and smoke cigars. Well, I'm doing that here. I'm doing that. Uh, I'm living a healthy life, guys. Alright, follow my follow my steps and you're going to enjoy your life. I'm, I mean, you're going to have a good time. You might regret it when you look at yourself in the mirror or whatever, but... Man, don't worry about that. Just have a good time. By the way, I'm enjoying this nice uh, black. Can I speak right now? Blackened uh, cigar. Blackened, yeah, like the blackened whiskey, uh, the Metallica's whiskey. Well, they, there's a Metallica cigar, um, which means that Megadeth is going to come out with a cigar. Maybe. Because Megadeth has a beer. I don't know if you know that. Metallica has a whiskey. Megadeth has a beer. Okay, with that said, let's get into it. What, why are we watching this? Well, we're actually listening. We're listening to uh, Seize the Fate uh, Back into the Wild. We're listening to this song. And the reason why we're listening to this is because my question is, go, looking back, it's a bit of a while since the album came out. How do I still feel about this song? Uh, is this still my favorite? Back into the Wild is like, like the favorite on that album. Uh, I'll see how it still holds up, man. Let's see. But on the screen, and let's play. Okay, okay. I gotta say, back up. That intro, let me crank it up a bit so that way we could all hear it. That intro is so cool. I love the like techno drums. The did, 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 did. Listen. The pulsating. That wing. Kind of feels like you're like in a castle or something, right? It did, right? Doesn't does it's a wing? It's like a weird sci-fi sound. It's like what's going on here? Am I in like a time machine? Oh, and then the drums come in, thundering. Right? Look at that. It's like there's an earthquake happening. Okay. And then there's a lot right there in that mix. It just kind of comes in. You hear like this, like, like almost as if that, that sci-fi time machine portal thing, whatever, something happened. And uh, now, now you're slipping through. I, I don't know how to explain it. Okay. It just sounds crazy, right? It sounds weird. Like what, what do you picture when you hear this stuff? You know, what, what do you imagine? Um, that's what it sounds like to me. You know, you hear this, and then, um, and then the guitar comes in back a bit. And then the guitar, <laughs> okay, all the guitars, the bass, everything. You're here. You, you, you have, that's what it is. You have successfully traveled back in time. You are now in the prehistoric ages. Um, good luck. You have whatever you brought with you as your tools and good luck surviving. Bye. You are back in the days of the Aztecs and they're doing human sacrifices and they see you and they're like, we should sacrifice you. <laughs> Actually, they see you and they're impressed by all your scientific stuff. They're like, what is it? They might say you're a God and they're sacrificing things for you. Like that could happen. But it's going to be a bad time. Okay, okay. You notice the, like, the techno stuff going on, that the beat when Mayu's singing, it's really nice. It's really cool. It, it kind of, it carries that sound that you heard in the opening of the track through it. So it's not like a one-time thing you hear. It's consistent. There's a theme to this song. Okay? It's all designed the way that it is for a purpose. There's a purpose with the song. Okay? And... The sound the guitar makes, doesn't it sound like a wild beast? Like a like a wild cat? Hear it. L listen. Listen to it. Listen to it. There's a lot going on here.
You heard it right there? Wow. Did it again. Did it once again. Back into the wild. Yeah. You're back into the wild, all right. <laughs> it's, it's not the Aztec days now. <laughs> You're dealing with wild beasts that are trying to murder you. For lunch. For dinner. Oh, man. And the pacing, the drumbeat is, is right on it, for the steam. It really carries with it uh, that, that wild vibe. And, and th that riff, that the the way it's designed, you know, the way it's played with with the drum beat, uh, it gives that image, that sense that things are crushing around you, that that you um, are, are in immediate danger. Um, you know, you, you get that. You understand what I'm saying? Once again, you get you get the the wildcat sound. Building up, going down, ascending, descending. Like you're in a uh, an area that's very chaotic. Um, you know. Jaggedness with the drums. Um, kind of creating a sense of unease. You see, man, this isn't just a song for me, okay? And it's like this with a lot, a lot of Nimitha Phila songs, I could say. I'm in it. I'm in this song. At this point, this song, I, I'm, I'm beyond in it. Like, I'm immersed, I'm listening to it, and I am, like, feeling what this song is trying to say. <laughs> if that sounds, if that makes any sense. Um, my only complaint about this song is only three minutes long. Now, three minutes is actually a pretty good time for this song, actually. But it's not at the same time. And I'll tell you why. Because when you're in it and it ends, it's like, oh, but I wanted more. <laughs> I wanted more, you know? And the singing in unison, though they're singing in a more savage way, now, now it gives the sense that there's other characters in this, in this song. That could be like a roaming gang of uh, savages, like a Mad Max or something. more of the techno the techno stuff and Mayu's changing her singing uh, way, the way she sings this part makes it seem like she's like like she's been trying to warn you this is your last warning whatever it is she's I remember translating this song and it is about going back into the wild but I think I don't think it actually references like time travel or anything like that directly, but it, it it's like the the takeaway I had. We'll, we'll do we don't we'll we'll explore the lyrics again. We'll do that again. I I know I did that video. Maybe I'll, well, I've well, already did it, and why do it again, right? Um, but I have to look at it again. It's been a, it's been a minute. And it all comes, it builds up at the end, and you once again get that build up, and that the ascending and descending kind of chaotic sound. I'm telling you, man, there is a theme in this song. You hear it. I don't know why anyone would disagree with that. 
I mean, I, I see this as like you are traveling back to a more savage, wild day. Obviously, it's in the title. It's in it's in, in the instrumentation. It's in the it's in the music. <laughs> You know, my initial thought about this song was that it was like, I was back to the well, but I was thinking like more dinosaur days like that. Because that part right there, that, that end where everything is all chaotic and stuff, it, it it just seems like like the final act of something. And I don't always think about like the final act of like like the end days. Like <clears throat> maybe you go back uh, because, uh, because I was operating on the premise that this song is like, like you're, you're literally traveling back to a state of wild. And I was thinking, you know, back even you know, beyond ancient days, prehistoric days. And uh, and, uh, to go back a time at the right time when it's like the end time of that time, you know, with the meteor and all that stuff, that would have been freaking chaotic, right? It would have been a mess. (laughs) Man, but this sounds like it's going back to like, um, just just wild in in general. Uh, Like like just maybe a a savage uh, time. Uh, It could be any time, really. Um, I guess more like time and location, huh? But anyway, anyway, oh, okay. So initial question: How does it hold up? Man, it's still one of my favorites. Surprised by that result, right? Surprised by that result. I mean, you saw how I reacted to the song. It was a genuine man, and I broke down. I stopped and I gave. <laughs> I probably went into the weeds on some things. All right, but um. Yeah, man. Back into the wild. It is still my favorite. It is still my favorite uh, off that album for sure. But what about you? Where does it place on your on your uh, top 10 list? Okay. Let me know in the comments section. With that said, you take it easy. <laughs>